traders, it's 10 minutes past 5 p.m. here in Brisbane on Wednesday, the 2nd of August. And I wanted to share with you a dual fight that I'm currently prepping for. But before we head into the fight details, I wanted to do a big shout out to all of you, our first 100 plus subscribers. So we started this channel in the beginning of May. So this is a special moment for us. And I want to dedicate this fight card to all of you. Some of you have joined me in the ring already, and some of you are still practicing on the bags. And I want to thank you for all your comments and your feedbacks because it helped us create a better show. So let's get into the dedicated fight card. And I want to start here with Dollar Swiss. And I've got here the weekly chart. And what we can see, we've got a beautiful downtrend here. Here, clear series of lower highs and lower lows and what we can also see is after a very strong push to a lower low we are currently in the process of pulling back now I've marked two levels here the purple line which is in and around the 0 0.88 and the light blue line, which is around 0 0.89. Now let's go into the monthly chart and look at the significance of these levels. So I'm gonna start with that purple line. And what we can see here is that it's been a low before around here, pushed higher. Then from here, we actually managed to go to a higher high. Now, by the way, this big candle is when the Swiss National Bank decided to remove the peg of 1.2 to the euro so you can see the massive reaction in the market but before that bank intervention we can see that we actually managed to push to a higher high then we came back to that level again tested it tried to go higher but didn't go as high as this previous push had another go and again made a lower high before decisively breaking through that level. So I really like this area. Now with the blue line, we can see again, there's touches here and touches here. This is the origin of the second push. We can see here, it's the origin of the second push as well. So there's a lot of reactions around these level. So let me go down into the weekly chart. There's another element that I wanna add and that is the fib retracement. So if I'll take it from the high to the low, we can see that the area between these two levels that I'm looking at is also in and around the 50 to 61 percent retracement of this latest move. So there's a lot of elements that sits here at my offense line. Now, if we get down into the daily chart, then what we can see, there was a single touch here on the purple line before we pushed higher. So with the daily chart, we actually made a higher high. We went above this area pushed lower but in this case we went through the purple line with one go what happened in the blue line is that we had a bit of consolidation before that break so i am looking for a continuation of this pullback i would much prefer it if we'll pull back into the 0 0.89 so into this consolidation area then i'll be looking for any kinds of rollover any signs that the sellers are ready to take control and I'll be looking for a continuation of this overall downtrend. We could get a reaction to the purple line as well. So I'm not discarding that idea, but for a further move for my risk reward, I much prefer the blue line. Now, as for knockout, so the area that I'm looking at for potential final target is around here, the 0 0.87, which means I would have a lot further distance to cover if I'm starting my offense at the blue line. So that's my preferred scenario. So to summarize, I am currently looking for the market to pull back into my offense line. In this case, it's a zone, it's the area between the purple line and the blue line with a preference toward the blue line. So a bit of a deeper pullback, more toward that 61.8% retracement of that weekly move. And I'm looking for one target, which is above this previous swing high. So in and around the level of 0 0.87. So this is dollar Swiss. The other one is Euro Swiss. And the idea here is quite similar. So we're gonna start 
with the monthly and we'll see the monthly is a little bit different so in this case the monthly is in a very nice downtrend but we don't have the same level that the market has broken that we did with dollar swiss we also have overextension here but not as big as we had with dollar swiss now going into the weekly and i'm going to add the fibonacci retracements here again so from the high here to the low and what we can see is that i marked a couple of lines so the first line that i've marked is the purple line is the previous swing higher low and the second one is in red and that's the low of this week that couldn't push higher and we can see it was also the origin of the move from here that pushed to a higher high so we've got a touch and a high and another touch with a lower high and then we came back to that area we broke we pulled back and then we pushed lower again so once again my offense line is sitting in between these two lines i would love to see a pullback into the red line around the 97 but because the swing higher low sit here around the 0 0.9675 so at this purple line we might not get that so if we'll take a look on the daily then what we can see is that if we we'll pull back into the red line we'll obviously gonna end up changing direction but i really like this week that from here we cleared very strongly so there were buyers that were sitting here that tried to push the price higher but they met with a force of seller that were able to push the price to a low and then give another push to another lower low and also you can see on the purple line it was tested in the context of the daily chart so if and when the daily will pull back into this area similar to dollar swiss my prefer pullback area is at the red level so around the 0 0.9720 then i'll be looking for any signs that the pullback is over and i'll be looking for a continuation of this overall move now as for the knockout area i am looking at this line around the 0 0.9620 you can see there's a lot of touches on the way down and also currently now on the way up so to summarize i am looking for a continuation of this pullback once again i'm looking at my offense line in a zone between the purple line and the red line with a preference to be as close as possible toward the red line and i am looking for a continuation of the overall move with a knockout around the 0 0.9620 happy knockouts everyone bye for now